Joining us now is the team that has brought together perhaps what could be the future of mobility and especially those who want to be mobile with a little bit of exercise thrown in, but not too much per se. This concept of electrical bikes or cycles, uh, Hornback Bikes is what they are calling themselves, Hornback Mobility, the team of Nishit Parekh, Rajkumar uh, Kevat and also Raj Nair. Gentlemen, Namaste, Jai Hind, and fantastic to be speaking with innovators. Um, and with uh, when when someone like Anand Mahindra is wow about what you have done, and he's one of the investors in it, there's got to be a story behind it. But Nishit, you're an MTech from IIT Mumbai or IIT Bombay, uh, Industrial Design Batch of 2017. Rajkumar, you're also from IIT Bombay, Transportation Design Batch of 2017. And Raj, you are the senior most amongst them. You're uh, you're also for PTEC honors from IIT Bombay. Metallurgical Engineering Batch of 1971 and an MBA from Ahmedabad Batch of 1973. So let's start with the senior among the group first and say, how did you guys come along? How did this idea come forth? And what is this whole concept about? Raj, over to you. <clears throat> well, Anand, it started with uh, these two young alums uh, seeking mentorship. And we have a very tight relationship between mentor uh, alums at diff of different batches at IIT Bombay. It's one of the most beautiful alumni associations. So I said, okay, I I'll help you. And then from there, the journey started. It went through various interesting phases. And um, they had only made a certain type of prototype. Mm. And it needed, of course, much more improvement. Mm. But they were already at it. And they had figured out so many other things, you know, not mm. just this. So I was very confident that if you were to manufacture that, they'll come up with a perfect product. See, mm. they had made drones, kamikaze drones for a DRDO. They had designed home automation, all kinds of things. It just came naturally to them. And mm. Rajkumar has actually even designed a, a sports car. He's ridden this in the race. So it's a team which understands design and aesthetics and understands engineering. So if what I bring to it is the knowledge of strategy and because I've been doing it all my life mm. and implementing strategy in various companies across the globe. Mm. So since this is IIT, there was so much passion and we just, I like these. We get you in Nishit, Aap or Rajkumar ki jodi pehle kaise bani? Tell us, take us through that. And also, how did you get in touch with Raj Nair? And this whole concept of a mobility bike or an e-bike and that too, that is foldable. The large wheels and it's foldable. There are foldable e-bikes, yes. But the size that you're looking at a 22 inch or a 25 inch frame, that is not around, not, that's not there. So 27. 27. Oh, that's what I write. Exactly. Yeah. So yes, Nishit. Yes. So, uh, Rajkumar and I met at IIT Bombay and we were batchmates. So, we did, we entered college in 2015 and in IIT Bombay, cycles are, uh, you know, your primary mode of transport. Not every, we don't have cars or motorcycles or things like that. It's cycles and it's a very nice campus. The best way in my opinion and I think in a lot of IIT alums opinion is that the best way to see the campus is on a bicycle. So. Naturally, we would also have our bikes and we would uh, cycle in campus, but a lot of times we would want to go out of Bombay, right? Uh, sorry, out of campus. So let's say uh, IIT Bombay is in Pawai and you want to cycle to Marine Drive, you want to cycle to uh, Carter Road, Bandstand, all these places which are a little far off. Yeah. And early in the morning, you can go. Like it's easy to go because the sun's not out yet, it's cooler, uh, the traffic is less, but coming back is a challenge. It becomes hotter, humidity is very high, the traffic is high, you are, it's it's a little scary, right? So, yeah. we always wanted a bicycle that was, let's say, easily foldable and then you can bring it back in a cab or uh, take it in uh, maybe the luggage compartment of a local train yeah. and things like that. So, then we looked uh, what was available in the market and we had these small wheel folding bikes. So, these are typically 20 inch, 16 inch, smaller wheel sizes. And uh, while they give you the portability option, the, some, somewhere in that folding, the essence of the bicycle is lost. It does not remain and you as someone you know who prefers cycling would understand that a 700c bike with full-sized wheels with a, yeah. you know, a good uh, frame geometry gives you a certain ride quality. Yeah. And yield quality. to effort also, no? effort to yield ratio is also there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So. So, uh, one rotation covers 35% more distance than say a conventional 20 inch bike would. So, that 
was the reason for us uh, to think of designing a full sized folding bicycle so mm-hmm. that's where this all started and then we we made several prototypes we had a lot of testing we had a lot of r&d we experimented with different kind of mechanisms and after a certain point now coming answering the second part of the question as to how we got in touch with raj is as he just mentioned right the alumni network is very strong so we have our alumni group we are all connected i mean there are thousands of alums connected by a single group where we have different chapters and each chapter mm. leads you to that uh, particular uh, this thing each mm. member so to their chapter so we sent them we sent a message and raj just looked at it and said like wow uh, you know and that's how the conversation started and it was that was the first time we ever uh, got in touch with each other mm. and as raj just said you know the alumni uh, relation is very strong and that's that was the start of uh, our journey the three of us together hmm rajkumar so i've saved the best for last so you have to talk us about how did you evolve the design and show show us the bike bike to dikhana padta hai sabko dikhayenge pictures to hum dikha rahe hain lekin actual bike aapke piche hai so you should take us through the whole process yes rajkumar as we started i'll just take a small you know one or two minute to start to hmm. take us through the journey how we went from you know very initially stage So initially, when we started, because our uh, mindset was like we wanted to make a bicycle, we should not compromise on the right quality and the performance. Mm. That's the main goal. So we started with the diamond frame, and because that conceals yeah. the essence of the bicycle. Yeah. So we 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 tried like around eight or nine different prototypes, and we the first time we feel miserable. Like <laughs> we made the whole design, we got CNC parts and everything done, and uh, but then entire frame got just collapsed when we ride. so uh, it was very quite challenging to bring that and to come in here mm-hmm. so uh, it took a uh, good amount of a time and effort and but finally we we cracked that uh, to make it time laga saal bhar laga to perfect the design about a year two? no no it took more than that because it like because it came like covid period across uh, so so uh-huh. basically it got stretched to three to four years okay uh, so that was the entire duration But uh, yeah, I'll show the bike to you. It just <laughs> right behind me. Are you? Yeah. So let's have a look and let's talk through this. Uh, Raj, Nishit, yeah. please feel free to jump in whenever you want to. Yeah. As he so as he shows. Yes. So let him. I guess he. Uh, you can see the bicycle, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so yeah. So initially, like we just unfold the handlebar. So this is the bicycle which comes in a folded state, delivered, yeah. ready to ride. So you Correct. can just take out the from the box and you can start riding it. So Correct. you get this bicycle, you unfold yeah. uh, the handlebar, and after that you just have to. There is one lever here on this mm. side of yeah. this tube. Yeah. So you just pull it, and it opens the bicycle. Oh, pull cycle, go! Oh, wow! Yeah, and if if, if it, like after a practice, it takes hardly you know ten seconds for you to ride the bicycle. Now this bicycle is ready to ride. Wow! And you've got gear systems also in it. Yeah, it has uh, seven gears. Uh, wow! Here. Yeah, uh, we have non-lifting version which has twenty-one gears, but ah. this one has seven, and you have ah. a removable battery here, which you okay. can use. And uh, there is a key here to turn on ah. the ignition, which comes with a ah. headlight and a horn. Ah. So uh, it's also a safety feature, you know, for the riding in the night. Right. So the battery charges while you ride. That's what happens. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't happen. But yeah, uh, you can you can charge it while it's plugging, or you can just remove the battery. Uh, uh, open it and you can remove and charge it separately. And so, how much time does it take to charge this battery? It takes three to four hours. Three to four hours. And what is the yeah. yield in terms of how many kilometers of ride do I get? Uh, see, there are two different modes. One uh, is where you go only full throttle, uh, and one is where you go uh, pedal assist. So pedal pedal assist is where uh, where you have to you know like you put ten percent of the effort of the bicycle. Correct. Percent comes from the battery. Uh-huh. So that's the maximum on the fifth level. On 